Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to see how to run your first example with software moves. I'm assuming you have already installed the moves and it is installed correctly. If not, please check this video where I explained how to install moves and how to check if it is installed correctly or not. And also how to create your application. And once you checked it is working correctly, then you should start with this video. To run basic example in moods, there are three steps which are involved. First, we have to prepare an input file. There are many example input files already in your moods installation folder. So you can just grab one from there. Then we will run the simulation. And finally, we have to use ParaView to visualize the results. I am choosing this very simple example. It's a steady state diffusion example. You know, this equation over here is a diffusion equation. And when you apply a steady state condition for this, that means D is independent of concentration and also the concentration field is independent of time. Then this complex equation just reduces to this simple equation. So we are going to solve this equation for this geometry. This is a kind of cylindrical mug and on the bottom face we have boundary condition that concentration is 10 and on the top surface we have boundary condition that concentration is 5. And once we solve this we will get this result. This just shows how the concentration is varying from the bottom surface to top surface. Now to solve this example, we will need Moods input file. I will show you where you can find this input file. It will be already there in your Moods installation. And every Moods input file has these six terms. Let me show you where is that input file and we will start with the example. So in this folder, we installed Moods. We just have to go in projects and in that Moods. So in this Moods folder, there is folder named examples and in that in first folder example one, you can find input file for this particular example. It will be ex01.i and also you will need a mesh file which is mug.e. So we'll need just these two files. Now just copy them, go out of this moods folder. Wherever you want, you can create a new folder. I will create a new folder over here in this for moods folder. So new folder and I'm going to name it first example. And those two files which you just copied, paste them over here. Once this is done, start your Ubuntu app. In Ubuntu app, first you have to activate the environment moods. For that you have to copy paste this command. And then you can see the moods prefix over here. Then go into that same folder where you copy pasted these files. For that cd space slash mnt slash c then cd for moods and in that first example. All these commands I already gave in this file and this file is available to download from the github profile of this channel. This file also contains the instruction to install moods. You can download this file directly from the link given in the description box below. So once you are in this folder and you have activated environment moods to run the example, you just have to copy paste this command. Before we do that, let's just open this input file and let's see what is inside that. So I'm going to open this input file. So as I said before, input file has six different parts. First is mesh. Over here, we have to give the file name which contains mesh in exodus format. So you can generate this mesh using any external meshing software, but you have to save it in exodus format. Then the next part is variables. In this, we are defining this variable diffused at just first order Lagrange variable. Then next is kernels. This will have the weak form of the equation what we are going to solve. So this diffusion means the diffusion equation we are going to solve. Then boundary conditions. As I shown in the PPT, we are going to apply a boundary condition on the bottom face as 10 and boundary condition on top face as 5. So you can see this is the bottom face. This I will make it 10 and the top face I will make it 5. These surfaces named top and bottom, these must have to be defined in your mesh file. So you can see over here this mesh file already has surfaces named top and bottom. Then next part will be executioner. In this we are mentioning steady. So this is a steady state equation. And finally outputs, we want output in exodus form. So just say true over here, then save this file. And now you have to type 
this command. What this command, the first part of this command is, it is just giving the relative path from the folder you are currently in, which is this folder, first example, to the cat opt file. This cat opt file is nothing but application file which you compiled and slash i defines the input file. So just copy paste this and it is convert. So now if you go in this folder, you will see ex01 underscore out dot e. This is the result file and this file you can open in Paraview. So let me open Paraview and we will just quickly visualize the result file. Just drag it over here. Click on this I button and you can see this is the initial geometry. Then tick on this diffused and say apply. And then from here you can, you can select that diffused. And this is how the concentration varies. So you can see on the top surface, the concentration is 5 and on the bottom surface it is 10. Now this was very simple example. As you add more modules, your input file will become more and more complicated. You can find more examples over here. Go to the moods folder and in examples. So these are all examples, 21 examples you can try. And in every folder of this example, there will be a source code. So you will compile this source code over here and then use the input file. So every time compile and then use the input file. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.